All right, certainly watching the skies this hour. We continue to see rain come again. 71 now. The Pittsburgh Airport is showing some light rain. And if you look closely, you can see the rain is coming down over the Allegheny River at this point as well. Temperature still a little bit on the cool side. So we've actually dropped our high temperature down to just the mid 70s now instead of the upper 70s near 80 degrees. 71 in Pittsburgh, Butler 71, Denora at 70 in Washington coming in at 71. So we'll go 75 now. Rain and storms. Yes, they'll be around. Just a couple of rounds for Pittsburgh, but places especially along I-70 should see a couple of thunderstorms and also along with that some rainfall. There's what you can expect over the next 24 hours. Fairly flat when it comes to our temperatures into the overnight hours. Part of the reason for that, it's a heavy cloud cover that we're likely to see. Heaviest of the storms, y'all, you can see it. Westmoreland County stretching through Indiana, Cambria County as well as it continues that broken line all the way off to the northeast. Here's one of those areas right around Connellsville, Fayette County, continuing to move off to the east around Seven Springs. You can see the Rich Hill Church, Fairview School, and Popular Run Church all in the path. This storm moving at 18 miles an hour to the east and the rate of precipitation coming in just shy of three inches. The good news though right now, when you normally see those storms and they're fairly small, moving at around 20 miles an hour, that should limit any flash flooding that we should see. Also around the East Wheatfield area, we've seen rain and storms there all morning long. We continue to see that right on top of 403. And you can see as we zoom out and show you kind of the big picture, we have that continues to slide to the east and we are in that warm sector with the boundary right on top of us and that's what's feeding those storms as we continue into the afternoon. That's going to continue as well, but it'll be more that dragging cold front that'll be impacting us later on today and that's when we'll stop to see or at least see the change where we'll stop seeing those rain showers and storms mainly along and south of I-70 and we'll start to see them more along I-80 as that cold front slides into place. So here's what model data is showing us. You can see the rain moving out, at least that we're seeing now, and then it's replaced by more rain showers, but mainly north of Pittsburgh this time as we're heading into the late afternoon hours. Spotty showers here or there possible into the overnight hours, so don't put your umbrella away just yet. And then tomorrow we get another round of rain and storms coming in out of the southwest. Should be here probably after about four o'clock and it'll stick around through about 9 or 10 o'clock with those stormy conditions moving in. So we'll watch certainly those. Now, how much rain can we expect to see? Well, today, maybe upwards of uh, about a fifth of an inch or so of rain. But I want to show you that tomorrow we do have some concerns. We could have some flash flooding and some downpours that could lead to some flooding in some areas as well. So we'll watch closely to that. You can see how spotty those uh, showers are expected to be. Some places seeing well over an inch. Other folks hardly seeing half an inch of rain over the next 24 hours. Your precipitation outlook up and down we go. I think to, uh, on Tuesday, most of the day is dry. That's why you drop the rain chances, but some storms into the late afternoon, evening hours, and then more rain and storms likely through the day on Wednesday. Been like a wet week. It is, <laughs> especially going through Thursday. I'm hopeful we get Friday and Saturday dry at this mm -hmm. point, and then, yeah, more rain coming in on Sunday. All right. Thanks, Ron. Okay.